imagine you were on the Eiffel Tower and you wanted to know how tall it was. But sadly, you don't have a ruler and you only have a rock and a timer. How can you find the height? Welcome to day two of every single physics equation explained, where I break down the building blocks and applications of all the physics equations. To solve the French dude's equation, we need to use this equation here. Delta x equals v naught times t plus one half a t squared, where delta x is the change in displacement, v naught is the initial velocity, a is the acceleration, and t is time. This is the most fundamental kinematics equation and is used everywhere in kinematics from projectile motion to finding heights of popular French attractions. It is derived by starting with a constant acceleration, then integrating once to find the change in velocity. Writing change in velocity as v minus v naught and moving the v naught term over to isolate v, we can integrate both sides again to get delta x equals this equation. So how can we use the rock and timer to find the height of the Eiffel Tower? First, the French dude drops the rock and finds the time it takes for it to reach the ground, which is 8.2 seconds. We know that the initial velocity is zero because he drops the rock from rest instead of throwing it down, and the acceleration is just the gravitational acceleration from the Earth. So plugging in all these values into the equation and solving, we get that the height is 330 meters, which is the correct height of the Eiffel Tower. And that's how you use this equation. Subscribe so you don't miss day three.